Hello, everyone. My name is Julie. I'm the co-founder of the, the Keep Trying Co. Today, this presentation's purpose is to show you some of our ideas and thinking around what we could do with the old station and how we did to connect with the community. The presentation is going to include some ideas around what we currently uh, do with the vanishing culture. It's our honor to share the process with you. So thank you for taking the time with us. So first, here is where we are uh, located, Ilan County. Uh, Ilan County is in the northeast of Taiwan. Um, and there are 12 cities and townships. Sanxin is in the middle of Yilan. It's right here. Okay. Um, the population is around 12,000. So the station where the projects happen is at the Dazhou station. This is the map of the Taipei Mountain Forest Railway. The track was opened in 1924 and closed in 1979. The railway was an, an extension of the Taipei Mountain Forest Railway. There were 10 stations along the track, and six of them were in Sanxin. And Dazhou is right here. OK? These are old pictures shows the workers cut down the cypress and transferred to Lodong. So it's from Taipei Mountain and to Lodong. Okay. This is the original station. In 2005, the station has been rebuilding. One day, James, our uh, founder, also my brother, uh, was curious about the station. Um, he found out there is no one used the place, then all the ideas start to begin. Let's enjoy the view. This is our hometown, Sanxin, and Dazhou is right here. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. <laughs> In night in 2019, we start to try something new. So we start from three people. Now we have eight people to work with. So we hold a lot of events. We try something new and have fun together. So the start is 2019. We, we clean the station. We hold some events to active the station. So we have the music history and dance and field trips. It's all connected with all the community. After that, we successfully let the station become a new possibility. In 2020, um, we are not sure if we still do the same thing, if people will come join us because of the COVID-19. So we thought, uh, maybe we can pack all the ideas to different places. Then we have these ideas. The, um, our vision is preserve local culture and develop a local feature. The goal is to build up and make a new memory of the Forest Railway Station for students in Sanxin. Since 2019, we started to do something fun at the station. We realized the memory of the forest railway need to pass to the next generation. To connect the memories by listening the story and DIY and the cookie, the history became no longer donuts. We developed the cultural product, the cookie train. Sorry, we don't have the cookie train today. <laughs> And then we had a tour to all the schools. Okay. This is the old picture, uh, the mini train called Wu Fen train. So Wu Fen train. Um, because of the gauge width of the railway is only 76.2 uh, kilometers. 
which is half of the International Standard Railway. So it is called a five-point train. It used to be an important transportation between Lodong and Sanxin. Although the railway was were no longer in operation, the memory of the train passed by the beautiful scenery is still missed by the elder. This was the event from 2019. The goal was to share the history of the old pictures about the Wufen train. But we thought if we only share the story, it's really hard to um, remember it. What if they can bring something back from the event and relate it to what they learned that night? So we designed this product with um, in the, an in industrial designer and Sunshine Digital Opportunity Center provide the laser engraver to make the 130 tram model. Although it was interest when, interesting way for most of the participants, but to those who brought their kids for the event, it's really difficult to finish for them. If those part, then we thought, oh, maybe if those part can eat, then if you're not finished, then you can just eat them all. So you can see these parents. He's just right behind her, like, I don't know what to do as well. <laughs> okay. So this is the process of how we develop our cultural product, the cookie train. So those are our parts, and we use the parts to design our logo, and then that is the mod. Then we designed the, uh, design the mod and the 3D print. And we do the test. So the first one, we use the wood. So it's terrible. And the test too, we use the 3D print. Isn't still not perfect. Then we use the stainless steel mode. So this become better. Yeah. Then um, due to the difference between the flower and the temperature and the, the humidity, so we change about like three to three, four, three to four times the recipe. And this is the package design. So the package design is combined with the Dazhou appearance and Gangnam mod parts. And uh, outside of the package is also the pop, uh, postcard. Then inside we have the instruction. Okay, then complete. Cute. <laughs> so then we are ready to do the next part. This part is the picture book workshop. She is my grand aunt. Um, here. She. Her name is Chen Chun Zhu, yeah, um, who lived in one of the stations when she was young. She gave us some stories and shared some interesting memories of the train trip she had experienced before. Our picture book is named Haluko, uh, which is her Japanese name. We also interviewed um, some locals and we found some old pictures from her house. Then I draw the picture book. It looks like this. So it's a foldable. Yeah. So the girls is called Haluko. Here. Yeah. Then uh, after we collect all the stories, so we uh, we had a, a small show for the student. So we invite a popular, uh, a, a yeah, so we have a small pottery plate. Okay. Now we are ready to go. Um, where there is a station, there is a community. And where is the community, there is always schools. So we travel the five elementary school and one junior high school. So we start from Dazhou Station, 
then all the way here. So this is the first one, Da Zhou. We have the uh, small play. And the kids are, were very happy. They just eat. They, they love, love the sugar. They love the cookie. So this is the first one. And it's the second one, one for elementary school. And by the way, I, I teach uh, art in this school as well. So those are all my students. Like this. And the second, the third is the Sanxin Elementary School. Then Xianmin Elementary School. Thank you for your listening. <laughs>